Well, we have another storyteller. I go to all his shows. <laughs> and I don't want to look at him. Bring down the lights. I got something dark to lay down. In feudal Japan, in the city now known as Kobe, back in the hills, there's a huge precipice. And on top of it, there's Himeji Castle, 83 chambers, courtyards, open uh, reception halls, private chambers, and a maze, a winding web of channels and currents and torrents. It is a castle, many parts of which have not been addressed for decades. In this time before time, in the time in which the story was told, this was the home of Lord Oyama. He was the shogun's appointed right-hand man, particularly because he was incredibly cruel. And the things that the shogun detested doing, Oyama did with gusto. He was feared, he was cunning, he was cruel. There were hundreds of people attending to him, but there was one particular one that stands out for this story. One who served him tea every afternoon. She was appointed to that position because she was strikingly beautiful. Okiku, known because of her kindness and her beauty, but also because of the purple kimono she wore with the chrysanthemum emblem, Okiku. And it was on one afternoon when she was preparing to serve him tea that Oyama said, Ah, Okiku, <laughs> the chrysanthemum. No doubt you have seen my lingering gazes upon you this many, many months. Well, I would like to make my desires more explicit. Become my concubine. Join with me. I can do wonderful things for you and with you. Lord Ayama, I am deeply flattered, but I must confess that my heart belongs to another. Da! To who? To the guard, Takatsune. Da! Takatsune! What, the shogun's principal of the guard? He has a sword. What else? Does he have a castle? Does he have a manor name? Ha! What can he do for you that I cannot? Hearts change. Perhaps yours will. She served him tea and quickly just excused herself. Late that evening, when she was walking past the private chambers of Oyama, going towards her bedchambers, she heard voices in his, his inner sanctum, his library, talking. Because of the nature of the whispering, she thought something might be amiss. She listened more closely. Ugh. How many are there? Thirteen of them? Wonderful. You know the gorge. There's no moon tonight. Set upon the shogun. Kill the guards. And by morning, I will be the shogun. <gasps> what? What? A sound? Went to the shoji doors. Ah! He saw a purple garment, a wisp. Late that night, knock at his door. Who's there? Report. The, the, the shogun was ambushed. The guard was alerted. The assassins all killed. How many of them? All 13. What a shame. We'll never know who plotted this. The next morning, the afternoon, it was time for tea. Okiku came, prepared the tea. Oyama, ah, uh, Okiku, <laughs> about yesterday. Oh my lord, I'm so embarrassed, please forget. Oh, it's all forgotten. In fact, I have brought you this remnant to show you there's no hard feelings. Boom, set down a big chest. Here, look at them. They are 10 plates given to me by the Shogun himself. Here, please count them out. Oh, oh my lord, am I, I am not worthy. Oh, you're worthy. It's, a, it's a, an act of trust, uh, our 
friendship can endure. Count them out. Take, take a look. She opened up the chest and began to look at them. Ichi. Mi. San. Chi. They're beautiful, Lord. Yes, there are. There are ten of them. They're so exquisite. Each one is unique. It's a, it's a remembrance. You keep them for me as a memento. Ah, a ku, nine, and ju. They're exquisite. Yes, they are. But, but please, keep them tight. When I need them, I'll call for them. Here's the key. You can lock them up. But now, serve me tea. And as she turned away to get the tea, he took one of the plates and hid it under the pillow. friendship and trust. It wasn't long. There were emissaries, dignitaries. Okiku, please bring me those plates, the ones I entrusted to you. She, of course, brought them in, set them down, began to count them out. Show them to our guests. They said from the shogun himself. Ichi, ni, san, chi, go, no, ku, ku. Two, ten. I gave you ten. Where's the tenth? Oh, my lord, I, I do not understand. The, the, the tenth one is not here. What? The tenth one? I, I have not opened it since you gave it to me. I locked it away. What? I gave it to you as a, an act of trust. The tenth one is gone. 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 I do not understand, my lord. I do not. Oh my. Oh my god. Take her away. Take her away. Viper. Liar. My trust for you. Be gone. Never to come back. Taken roughly, quickly, without even gathering any clothes, was thrown out the big show, the big gates of the palace, and the gates showed. <laughs> With only a small lantern, she walked through the, the, the woods, not knowing where to go. <laughs> Glimpse something moving. Dark shapes moving. She <laughs> Suddenly, she <laughs> something here and there. She fell down to the ground, smelling moss, darkness, blood. When she awoke, boom, 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 a pounding of the pain in her head. <sighs> she tried to, to move her hands. They were bound. She felt herself being pulled. Her sh sh shoulders were up around her head. And as she moved, she began to feel herself swaying, hanging. She said, where am, where am, where am I? <laughs> Your hands are bound. I pulled you. I brought you here. Oh, where am I? I don't know how it happened. I did not mean it to happen. I don't know about the, the place. The place. <laughs> Lord, I do not know how it happened. I didn't bring you there for the plates. I brought you here for the assassination. You told Takatsune. You foiled the plot. I could have been Shogun. No, I never did. He's innocent. Lord, please, please let me down. Never, never admit it. Admit it now. I did nothing. Takatsune is innocent. I am innocent. It is not true. He pulled out his sword. I grow tired. Sword down, cut through the hands of Okiku. And the hands fell to the bottomless well over which she swung. Admit it. You thwarted. Before her body hit the bottom of the well, snapping her neck, breaking her back, he was gone. Then is when it began. Every night, the guards began to report that in the hour of the ox, an unwieldy, unworldly purple light came out of the well. They spoke in whispers of a wispy woman who rode 
holes up with bloody stumps with a box. And she started counting. And where? Their eyes were big. The room would finally reach uh, uh, Lord Ayama. Ah! Do not fear the ghost! It is the living you should fear, not the ghost! Until one night, when he woke up in bed, he, he was sweating all over. At the end of the bed, there in purple rising was a woman looking at him, and she raised her hands, and they were bleeding. <laughs> he looked at his bed, covered with blood, the figure, the hand still lingering until it dissolved, the body whispering, going back, withdrawing in a smoke underneath the shoji door. He woke up, guards, guards, open the shoji door. There was a bloody track going back. Guard, guard, killer, what are you fool? Killer. The guard, Lord. The night is still. There's nothing there. Perhaps you are troubled by a bad dream? Yes. Yes. But after that, Food in my mouth turned rancid. I could not eat. At the hour of the ox, I wake. I can hear the moaning. My eyes started to sink back into my hands. Everything was strange. I knew what I had to do. I waited deep into the night. Hour of the ox. I raised myself up. Took a long walk. Slowly through the province. And into the abandoned part of the, the castle. To the well. I waited. Out of the well came the purple light. She stood, rose, the specter. <laughs> Carrying the chest with her bloody stumps. <laughs> she put it down, struggling to open the top, spreading the blood as he pushed her hair back, opening the lid. He <laughs> changed. She, no, no, Spectre, no, I forgive you, the accident, the, the assassination, it was my fault, not you, I believe it, don't harm me, cool, cool, no, Jew, ah! and again, the plates into the box, again, she opened it up, Ichi, Ni, Sal, Chi, Go, are you? I fought it against the emperor. I am the one, not you. I took the tenth plate. Now the tenth plate is mine. Coo. Go. Tenth plate. Jew. Here. And as he hurled the plate through the specter, it landed across the courtyard and skidded against two figures who stood up, Takatsune and the emperor, Shogun himself. And the Shogun said, I have heard enough. Arrest the Lord for attempted assassination. And it was then that the specter of Okiku Tears bowed to her lover. 
an opening for the stuffed head. Faded away. The tale of Okiku is told for one reason only. To remind us of the truth. Dark deeds done under the cloak of night will indeed, in the end, be brought to light. And this is the tale of Okiku. <laughs>